Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a requested video, actually. Today we are going to take a look to my self-made fall makeup geek eyeshadow palette. Lots of words. Um, I showed you this uh, during my, I think, uh, shop my stash videos and you guys were like, oh, I would like to see a look with this. So uh, I decided to yeah, film it for you guys. This is the final look and uh, I achieved it using this palette. Let's talk about this a little. So I have a ton of Makeup Geek eyeshadows and I keep them divided by color, family or color story. And uh, sometimes I like to pull out a few shades that I thought would be nice together and that I haven't used in a while. So I was actually triggered to pull out uh, limelight and that is what this palette came to be. Um, it started all I think on, around the time I was trying to dupe the Huda Beauty Emerald Obsession Palette. If you haven't seen that video it will be here in the cards and uh, I was thinking how would I set up my ideal green based fall palette and uh, this is what came out. It's green, but not completely green. <laughs> and uh, it's just something I uh, enjoy using in this period of time. So to go through the eyeshadows, starting from the yellow, I think a yellow transition and fall is absolutely beautiful. This is the shade Chickadee. It's an OG uh, Makeup Geek eyeshadow and uh, a beautiful matte. I am wearing it today as the first transition shade. Then I added a more cool toned and a toned down transition shade. This is the shade Creased. It's one of their newer ones that is in the, in the nude palette, I think. And then they started selling it as singles, so I picked it up. And this is um, a little bit more yellow based uh, brown, but definitely cool toned. Then one of my favorite shades by Makeup Geek, this is Morocco. This is a, a nice orange shade and uh, I think something that is a must have for uh, fall looks. Same uh, story goes for this one here, which is Cherry Cola. I love Cherry Cola, there's very little to say. I used it on my wedding day in my outer corner. It pulls a little bit red, but it's definitely still a neutral, I would say shade. Um, I love this for the outer corner. Then we get into the greens. Um, for a matte dark green we have Enchanted Forest and uh, I like this. I use it a lot. It substitutes a black for me a lot of the time and it ties in looks a lot to do monochromatic ones. And uh, I often use it paired with the shade Epic, which is this one here, which is a foiled eyeshadow. This came out in 2016, I think, and is a beautiful green, forest green eyeshadow. Then uh, uh, we get here to the shade Limelight, and uh, this is a super fun lime green foiled eyeshadow. I'm wearing it as in my inner corner today, and it really makes it look a little bit more fun, a little bit different because you could have done this and just done a, a champagne-y uh, inner corner and you'd be just everyday appropriate and if you put a lime green in your inner corner it just gives it a little bit extra oomph and fun. So uh, yeah, as I mentioned earlier, this was the start and the beginning for me to do this, uh, this palette and this uh, look. This was just I wanted to use this green more. I decided to add another shimmer. This is Insomnia. This is a dupe for Blue Brown by MAC. And uh, uh, again, this was in a palette and they released it as single. And uh, I love this color for fall. It can be paired with any of the mattes and it will look great. And to play a little bit on the blue that is in this uh, shade here, I added the shade You guys, something horrible happened. Um, I was taking out the shade Time Travel to tell you the name because I suddenly lapsed and my palette dropped and my epic shade shattered on the floor. So one moment of silence for me to recollect and move on. Um, yeah, so this is the shade Time Travel. It's a deep and dark and black and teal that I think plays very well with Insomnia. 
And that was all the shades in the palette. And uh, then we will get into the tutorial to achieve this eye look right here. I hope you guys enjoy and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel. Now I'm gonna try to scoop up what I can from that eyeshadow. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye bye. A quick update, great news. I managed to pick everything up and luckily Makeup Geek foiled eyeshadows are extremely, extremely rich in binding agents and emollient. So I could just press it in without any alcohol and this is the result. So I have my eyeshadow. Now uh, a lot of other ones got a hit. I have some holes in a few and I know a few lifted from the bottom, but no major damage was done. All of my eyeshadows are still alive. Yay! I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I am uh, starting with the shade Chickadee up here and putting it all over the upper part of my crease as a transition shade between my skin tone and the rest of the eyeshadow look. This really is a base. I'm not sure we are gonna see this a lot in the final look, but it gives a nice base on which to blend the darker colors and I find that it is also very important. This is the perfect fall transition shade, by the way. Look at how beautiful that is. A little bit orange, not super bright yellow, very wearable. Then going in with the shade Morocco and a smaller brush, bringing that into the crease and again high up, but a little bit less high than the previous shade. And I don't really care if I get on my lid because that's just not visible afterwards when we finish everything. I want to make sure that this is quite intense and visible when I open my eyes. And that's why I go in quite a lot of color. Next shade I'm using is the shade Cherry Cola and that goes to start building the intensity in the crease itself and on the outer corner. And I'm taking the same brush we used before and blending that out to make the gradient seem less. To add even more dimension, I'm taking Enchanted Forest with a small fluffy brush and applying it only in the outer corner to darken it out even more. And then adding a little bit of a wing here with the eyeshadow to lift and correct, as you can see, my hooded eyes. And this brush, the Morphe M507, is perfect to do this because it's tapered and it fits in the crease beautifully, blending itself pretty much. Again, with my previous brush, blending it all out again a little bit. Then we can start going in with the shimmers. I'm going to start with the shade Epic right here and applying it on the outer corner of the lid on top of that darkness, but that is all for the intensity. And this is applied dried. You can see how beautiful that shade looks on the eye. For the rest of my lid, I'm taking Insomnia, also with a dry brush, and applying it from the inner corner to meet Epic and over top of that. I'm so happy to have a pressed version of MAC Blue Brown Pigment because I pressed my own, but it is still a little bit less um, hardly pressed than this. This can actually withstand traveling, for example. With the brush that we use for Cherry Cola, I'm going into that crease and blending the edges. I think I want a little bit more orange visible when I open my eyes. So I'm gonna take a little bit of Morocco on the same fluffy brush and blending it gradually upwards. And outwards. To make the transition seamless again, I'm taking a little bit of chickadee and continue blending. Now that I have my upper lash line finished, I'm taking Makeup Geek Plumeria 
eyeliner in my waterline and smudging it on the lash line as well and then with a smudger brush and cherry cola I'm setting that and smudging it blending it out even more I never go past this point here in my lower lash line with dark shades because otherwise they will close my eye even more and I don't have a very big eye to start with. I will now replicate with Morocco and Chickadee the same gradient as I have on the upper lash line and smoking out the look. Then for the fun bit I am taking Limelight on a small brush and applying it in my inner corner. Such a fun pop of color. And this you can see I will bring on the inner part of my lower lash line because it will open up my eye even more. Right now I can see that for example I would like a little bit more intensity on the outer corner so I'm taking Enchanted Forest again and just applying it right out here to make these two meet with the same intensity upper and lower lash line and blending it a little taking my fluffiest brush that I use today with no new product and making sure everything is blended and blown out. I am now going to apply my lash and mascara and uh, this is the finished look. I love the dual proneness of it, I love how the crease is very full. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you recreate this look, please tag me on Instagram or wherever you're doing it or send it to me via DM. That's also perfectly fine. And uh, I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.